as I pull out my uniform and get ready for today's domestic flight from Delhi to Bengaluru, I want to start this vlog with something extremely important, something that's been quite making headlines in aviation lately. Yes, GPS jamming and GPS spoofing. As I get dressed and walk you through my schedule today, I will also explain what GPS jamming and spoofing really are, how they are being misused, what pilots actually see in the cockpit and most importantly, how we deal with it safely. Now for most passengers, GPS is something you associate with Google Maps on your phone, but in aviation, GPS or more accurately GNSS is a critical input for navigation, situational awareness and many automated systems. And when that signal is interfered with, things can get very serious and very quickly. Well, if you all could recollect, a few weeks ago, Delhi airport was in news because multiple aircraft experienced GPS related issues, severe enough that several flights had to divert. This wasn't weather, this wasn't traffic, this was navigation interference. Now let me explain this image in a very simple way. This picture is divided into two halves and both show different threats to aircraft navigation. Let's look at the left side first. Up here, you can see the GPS satellite trying to send signals down to the aircraft. These signals are already extremely weak by the time they reach us. Imagine trying to hear a whisper in a noisy room. Now look at this device on the ground labeled Jammer. This device is not sending fake information. It's simply creating loud electronic noise. Because of this noise, the aircraft can't hear the GPS satellite anymore. The cockpit systems show GPS signals lost. Navigation systems may flag navigation warnings. So, in simple words, jamming means the GPS goes silent. The aircraft knows something is wrong and stops trusting GPS. It's like your phone suddenly losing network. Frustrating, but at least you know the signal is gone. Now, look at the right side and this is more dangerous. Here again, the satellite is sending correct signals, but now there's a vehicle on ground shown here as a van transmitting fake GPS signals. These fake signals are stronger than the real satellite signals designed to trick the aircraft. So, instead of losing GPS and the aircraft thinks GPS is working perfectly, but the position shown is wrong. See this map. A green line shows the real location and the red line shows the fake location. So the aircraft might think it's a few miles away from where it is actually supposed to be or it's drifting slowly off track without realizing it. So in simple words, Spoofing means the GPS is lying, but it looks normal. This is like someone giving you wrong directions confidently and you don't realize you're being misled. Between the two, spoofing is more dangerous than jamming. In jamming, the system says, I don't know where am I. But in spoofing, the system says, I know where am I, but it's wrong. And that's why pilots are trained to cross-check GPS with other instruments and follow strict procedures if a GPS becomes unreliable. And as passengers, this is something very important you all need to know. Even when GPS is jammed or spoofed, aircraft do not become unsafe. Modern airlines are built with multiple navigation systems, backup references, clear pilot procedures, so this is a challenge, not a loss of control. And that's exactly why awareness of GPS jamming and spoofing is so important today. Briefing done, weather checked, no times reviewed. 
it was time to head to the aircraft. Now, here's an interesting operational detail many people do not notice. Since this aircraft has arrived as an international flight, it was parked at the international terminal. But today, we are operating a domestic sector from Delhi to Bengaluru. So our departure will be from the domestic terminal. At large hubs like Delhi, aircraft movement between terminals is a routine but carefully coordinated process. Ground teams, ATC and flight crew all work in sync to reposition the aircraft smoothly without affecting the schedules or safety. But for passengers, it's seamless. Behind the scenes, it's pure coordination, timing, planning and precision, the kind that keeps aviation running quietly and effectively every single day. Now, we both have reached the aircraft. As always, duties are divided. While my first officer heads out to carry out the external inspection, checking the aircraft from nose to tail, I get on board to start bringing the cockpit to life. This is where the aircraft slowly wakes up. Power on, systems coming online, displays lighting up one by one. Every switch, Every indication has a reason behind it. And this is also the first point where we start paying close attention to navigation inputs. If there's anything unusual with GPS, whether it's jamming or spoofing, this is often when the first sign appears. Position disagreements, flags or messages that tell us something isn't quite right. Nothing is rushed, everything is cross-checked, because long before the aircraft ever moves, safety has already started right here in the cockpit. Before getting fully absorbed in the cockpit flow, I always take a moment to look outside. Aircraft parked all around us, different airlines, different destinations, each one with its own story and crew preparing for another flight. And with that, it's time to get going. Delhi to Bengaluru. Pushback completed, engine stable, checklist flowing just the way they should. And just like that, we are safely on ground at Bengaluru. Another flight completed. Smooth, peaceful and uneventful. Just the way we like it. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Drop a comment below and tell me which aviation topic or flight experience you'd like to see next. Your ideas actually shape these videos. If you found this vlog informative, do like, share, comment, subscribe and hype. Your support truly means a lot. You can also follow me on Facebook, X, Instagram and Snapchat. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.